So of course we have our 100 millimeter silky smooth touch sensitive motorized fader. We have channel control so that I can solo a track if I need to. I can mute or I can arm a track individually or all. We have automation modes for touch, latch, write, and trim. Of course we can switch into read mode as well. And then on the bottom, we have the transport section that we all know and love for Fadaport. So we can hit play, we can stop, we can rewind, fast forward, hit record, or of course turn loop on or off. But the beauty of Fadaport is actually in the Session Navigator section. This is brand new and completely updated for this new version. So in the Session Navigator, we have eight different buttons. So we can see that pan is lit up right now. That means that the large encoder is essentially our pan pot. So I can pan right. I can also pan left. The previous and next buttons will go through and change to the next or previous channels. Now whatever channel I'm highlighted on, that is what the large encoder controls. So if I hold down shift and hit pan, now the large encoder is controlling panning. So I can write silky smooth automation. Next up we have our channel button. So the channel button will allow you to quickly scroll through all of your tracks left or right. Keep the fader port locked on to a particular channel. I can hold down shift and channel. Now I'm in channel lock mode. So this means that if I were to click anywhere else with my mouse, let's say this track over here, my fader port is actually still locked onto that original channel. So this is great. It allows me some flexibility, but I can always go back and tweak the original channel that I want it to be locked on. <laughs> Thank you.